Hey guys, it's Angela, and for today's video, um, my face is off cam because we had a huge walkathon at my school, and I've been out in the sun for ooh, about seven hours walking around with no makeup on, so I'm not filming my face, but I am going to do a couple of different things that I'm going to try out on my nails. I apologize, first of all, for the condition of my nails. They are in pretty bad shape, as I mentioned in my last video, but I wanted to try to do a Christmas look on my nails so I'm gonna use this deep red um, color that I purchased at the Dollar Tree if you missed that video I'll be sure to leave a link for it down below and I'm going to do a glitter gradient using the glitter for this technique and I think on the ring finger I'm gonna do full glitter um, for this technique I'm gonna be using makeup sponges the I forgot what these are called wedges and um, I'm also going to try to use glue as a peel off base coat because glitter is a pain to remove. So I'm gonna try using this to make it easier to remove at a later date and time. Hopefully it does not mean that uh, they will peel off on their own. We'll see how that works. But I'm also going to try to use glue as like a simply peel so that when I do the glitter gradient, I don't get glitter all over my fingers. So let's see if I can pull this off with short nails and yeah first i'm gonna go in with the glue and i'm just gonna paint this on as a base coat so i'm just bringing the glue down because it's somewhat of an empty box whoa haha <laughs> okay so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and use it right off of the table here since i decided to pour it out of the bottle um totally winging it here folks this was not intentional Okay, and I'm just using a little brush from a, an, an empty nail polish bottle. And that's it right there. Michaela's pushing onto the screen. So I'm just going to put a coat of glue on my nails. And hopefully this will work as a good peel-off base coat. Ironically enough, this seems to be the best way to quickly access the glue because you want to make sure you get a nice even coat before it starts to dry. So whatever is left over on the table, I will clean up afterwards. If you hear that banging sound, that is Kylie banging her toys on the table as she's watching a cartoon. So yeah, please ignore that sound. This is actually applying pretty easily. The brand of the glue that I am using is Playday uh, Washable Glue. Oh, I hope that's not a bad thing. Is that washable glue? Washable school. Okay, that washable school. Yeah, oh, okay. It's a washable school <laughs> glue, so. I'm trying to get a nice, even, thick coat so that I don't have a hard time removing it later. The reason I'm trying to find a substitute for a peel-off base coat, one, I can't afford one, and two, um, I, uh, my nails are just getting beaten by the nail polishes that I've been using. It's like every time the nail polish starts to chip, it starts to peel my nail with it. So, and I've been changing nail colors so often that I figured I might as well try using this as a peel-off base coat and see if it works so I can spare my nails the pain of being torn apart. All right, so I have a full layer on that hand. Went on nice and even and smooth, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'll do the other hand and I will come back to apply the color. Okay guys, so my nails are completely dry. It took about 15 minutes for the glue to dry down, but I'm not in a hurry, so that's okay. By the way, just FYI, my nails are not dirty. I had this nail polish on before I started recording, and I have a little bit of gray left around my cuticles. So if you see gray, especially in this hand, it's not dirt, it's just gray nail polish residue. So just wanted to let you guys know that so that I don't get any comments later about, ooh, your nails are dirty, blah, 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 no. It's gray nail polish. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint my nails with two coats of this LA Colors Color Craze in the shade. Oh, what's the color for this? I forgot. Wicked Berry. Okay, so I'm gonna do that next, except 
sorry, Michaela just hit the camera. I'm not going to paint my ring finger. See if I can remember to do that. Because I always forget. So this is a really pretty color, really pretty polish. It's pretty opaque, but it will, um, you, it will require two coats. Okay guys, so obviously as I predicted, I forgot not to paint my ring finger. So I'm just gonna do all my nails the same because I don't feel like redoing everything, including the base, the peel off base coat with the glue. That took way too long to dry. So I'm just, this is one coat of the red. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other hand and get a second coat on and I will be back for the next step. Okay guys, so I have actually done three coats of the deep red color. I think it turned out gorgeous. What do you guys think? So now I'm gonna attempt to do the glitter gradient. And before I actually get started with the glitter, I need to put glue around my finger to act as a simply peel type of stuff. I don't have liquid latex, obviously. So we're just gonna go with this and hope it works. My goal is to not get it on my nail so that I don't peel off the whole thing, including nail polish. And Kylie is talking in the background. I'm using this giant brush because I don't have a smaller one. So I'm hoping that I can pull this off. You guys are going to be with me whether this is a success or a fail. So let's, uh, let's start with this finger. I think I'll do my thumb last because it'll probably be the easiest one. Okay, let's do my thumb. Alright guys, so I have glue all around my fingernails. I'm going to let that dry and I will come back for the sparkly portion of the show. Okay guys, so the glue is about 90%, 95% dry. I'm going to go ahead and test it out on my largest nail, which is my thumb, to see if I can get this technique to work. I'm going to try to put you guys, sorry to move you so much, try to put you guys where you can see what I'm doing because being that I'm left-handed, I'm constantly blocking the camera and don't even realize it. So first I'm going to put down a light layer of the glitter on my thumb just halfway up, not even over the whole thing, because I want it to fade into um, the tip of the nail. So from the cuticle, just a very light. Okay, pretty happy with that. I think that turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to take my makeup sponge and I think I'm going to use, I don't know what side to use. I don't want something too thin, but I don't want it to be super thick. So I think maybe I'll try the side and just go at it like this and see how that works. So I'm just going to take the glitter and I'm going to paint it onto the sponge. Okay, and I'm just going to pack this onto the cuticle area. And now I'm just going to take the glitter again and just go over it one more time to kind of smooth out the transition. Alright, for my first attempt, I don't think that turned out terrible. Um, 
I got a little further up than I intended with the glitter, and I do have it on my finger, but we will see if the uh, peel-off base coat will help with that. Okay, so oh, let's see if I put a thick enough layer where I can peel this off. Okay, so far so good. All right. Besides the fact that it touched the nail polish and moved it a little bit, I think it worked really well, actually. Huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna. It's just the glitter got moved a little bit, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna put things back where they go. All right. So I think that peel off worked really well. It came right off. It took everything with it where I had the peel off. So yeah, let's go ahead and try it with the next finger. We're just gonna put a light and I'm gonna try to focus it a little bit more on the inside. Okay, so there's a nice little grouping of glitter and this time I think I'm going to try it on the skinny side of the sponge and I can't put too much because it will run over to the side. I think that's the problem, I'm using the wrong side of the sponge. I have to learn which side would work best. Well, let's go ahead and try this. Right at the base. Okay, let's go ahead and put a little bit more on there. No, I'm gonna try the flat side. I think it'll work the best. Yeah, I think that might work better. I see you do need a lot of I'm literally experimenting with you guys. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a good concentration of glitter right at the base. Like that. So that is the look that I am going for. Let's try to peel this off and see if we get just as smooth a result. Because remember, this is the one where I actually got glue on my um, cuticle on the side of my nail. So let's see if it's got devastating results. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I completely forgot to peel off my peel off <laughs> on these oh last no. two fingers, so let's see what happens. Because you got glitter on your finger. Okay, let's see. Oh, she was going to say, did I knock over something? Sorry, I banged the table. Okay. Okay. Alright, that one's off. <laughs> this is actually really easy to peel. It, also, it looks really satisfying. It takes a, a bit of a long time to, um, to dry, but it works really well. <gasps> and on this one it started to peel off the nail polish you got it all over your nail. but since I have to redo it uh, it's just well the nail polish is wet so it's gonna be a bit of a mess we're just gonna let that dry and then I'll peel it off and do that nail over so now we know that the peel off works for the nail polish as well because it's lifting up on my pink nail right there Okay guys, since I messed up the pinky, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn that one into my accent nail and I'm going to do that one in full glitter. So right now I have a layer of glue drying on my skin. As you can see, it's nice and shiny and I did a really nice job at keeping it apart from the glue on the nail. So I'm hoping we don't have a second incident, but we will have to wait and see what happens. As soon as this is dry, I will come back and do the glitter application. Okay guys, so my peel off, what? simple peel, quiet, that's right. 
You silly girl. She, she just said quiet. <laughs> I'm going to use, I hope that guy amuses you guys, not irritate you so much. She's adorable, this tone um, of her life. But I'm just going to go ahead and put down a layer of glitter on my nail. So now, uh, this could be completely disastrous again. But let's see. I'm going to paint the glitter onto my sponge. And I'm just going to pack this onto my pinky. And go back and pack that on once again. And I think we'll do it a third time. Because I want a nice thick layer of glitter. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that coat. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to remove the glue layer from my finger. Let's pray that this is not an absolute disaster this time. Please do not peel off my pretty sparkles. All right, I think that worked this time, yay. Okay. So we're just gonna let that dry and then I will put some top coat on it and that is my accent nail. So let me know what you guys think. So overall, I think they turned out pretty good. Now I just need to put a top coat on them to set this glitter in place. And for the top coat, I'm just gonna go use my uh, Wet Wild Wild Shine uh, Clear Nail Protector because it's the only one that I have that will not bubble up. Even though if it bubbles up, I don't think it'll matter right now, but it won't bubble up. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. We saw some successes and some major fails, uh, but we do, we did establish that regular white um, Elmer's glue will work as a peel off. Um, it's like a simply peel type of substance. This is a pretty beat up bottle from the beginning of the school year. It's almost empty. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm really excited about how this turned out. I'm excited about how well the glue worked. You just have to have patience to let it dry. Um, I will be redoing this guy and then I gotta do these guys. So that's it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please click that like button down below. Apparently, the way things are going on YouTube now, it is important that videos get liked in order for channels to survive. And I would love for my channel to survive, so please click that like button down below. If you learned anything new from this video or just enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!